Welcome back. Today we'll be checking out the Convoy S2 Plus UV, which apparently I'm super late to the party for the S2 Plus because uh, from when I was doing my research, everybody knows about it. And this is a very highly recommended flashlight for those who are high, uh, high level enthusiasts. Um, all that being said, I do want to thank Convoy for sending me this flashlight in exchange for review. And uh, apologies for the little bit of a delay in getting this put out. That being said, I want to do a review on this flashlight in and of itself. But I'm also going to do a review comparing this to some other UV flashlights because I have quite a collection of them now, which I don't know what that says about me, uh, beyond the what you already know that I'm a weirdo. Um, so, as always, there will be some affiliate links below, one directly to the AliExpress Convoy store and a couple to buy the UV Convoy S2 Plus UV on Amazon in case you'd prefer to buy it on Amazon. Any clicks of those links below will go to help the channel any clicks and purchases will help even more. So thank you in advance for anything and any and all involvement you have with the uh, uh, aforementioned links in the description below. Um, there is a term I think that very accurately describes this flashlight, and that is WYSIWYG. If you're not familiar, it means what you see is what you get. And with the Convoy S2 Plus UV, at least, it is absolutely a what you see is what you get. Uh, light's very straightforward. You click the button to turn it on, and then you click the button again to turn it off. That's it. <clears throat> Though that is only true for the UV version of the S2 Plus. If you were to get one of the other ones, it comes with a Biscotti firmware, which has quite a bit of uh, variability and customization available to it. But we'll get into that in a little bit. I mean, it's a short video, so it'll be soon. Um, the use cases I have for UV flashlights, I don't personally use uh, UV resin, but there is uh, some UV resin you could buy that you could cure with one of these flashlights to make it harden that much faster. Um, photoluminescent ink and art. So if you got black light posters, it looks really cool with this, or like your watch, if you want to have the arms on your watch light up for a little bit or charge them, if you will, this will do that for you. Um, currency verification, uh, pretty much all modern currency has some type of UV reactant, uh, uh, strip, bar, dye, print, whatever involved with it. Um, and the most common use case I have for this is whenever I travel, if I'm staying in a hotel, you better believe before I put my bags down and or especially go to sleep in the bed that night, I scan the whole room as much as I can with the UV flashlight to look for any nastiness or, uh, places that I'd rather avoid because who knows what that spot is when it's reflecting UV, UV light. <coughs> I'd also recommend getting a pair of uh, uh, safety goggles when you're using these because the UV light could be very damaging to your eyes if you don't protect them, just like most other light. Um, as I stated before, the pros of this flashlight start with the fact that it's a simple on and simple off. Uh, it doesn't get much more straightforward than that, and I'm always a big fan of flashlights when that can be uh, utilized in their UI. Um, the threads are anodized on the tail cap of this flashlight, so it makes it easy enough to lock it out by just unscrewing the tail cap a little bit. As I've mentioned late earlier, and as I'll mention more, this is a highly moddable flashlight. From what I can tell, these things are like Legos, and I, if I was to own a few of them, I could literally just take off the head that's got the UV emitter and plug on a different head. Not 100% sure in that, but that seems to be the uh, nature of it. Um, and to that point, there's a ton of parts available, up to and including pocket clips, LEDs, drivers, everything. Um, I'm going to leave a very uh, <clears throat> fun and light a link to a very fun and lighthearted video that's highly informative on top of that from a, uh, a YouTuber named Pixel Poison Flashlights. And I'll put that in the description below, but uh, they do a great job of going over, uh, you know, different modification abilities and they're down to the level of uh, uh, soldering new drivers and LEDs in. I'll get into that a little bit more when I'm going over the specs in just a second. Uh, the only cons I really have for this flashlight are the packaging. It's a white box with some bubble wrap wrapped around the light. Um, that being said though, if you look at the cost of all the parts and the lights that you're actually buying, you're paying for that packaging one way or another. So I actually don't know if it's a con. Again, I've been doing these pseudo cons in every video and here's another one. Um, the other thing that I could say is a con is the size and, but it's, it's an 18650 flashlight. So if you don't like that, buy the 18350 version. Um, but it's not, not too much bigger than the, the battery cell itself. So what do you expect? Um, so technical specs, this is the aluminum alloy version, which you can get in several colors. They also have a really cool micro arc oxidation finish, uh, available, which I'm probably going to end up acquiring one of those um there's a titanium polished and or stonewashed titanium finish there's a copper one you could even buy a host as they call it which is the variety that comes without a driver or led so you could build your own setup completely to your liking um this uh, again i believe it's an achia but i'm not exactly sure but this is the uv emitter in here 
Uh, but to the previous point, the LED options are luminous, green, a chia, infrared, UV, the list goes on and on. And I'm probably missing quite a few of them. Uh, but again, previous point, customizable 100% to your liking. Uh, CRI, again, will depend on which uh, emitter you end up going with. The driver is a 7135 with Biscotti firmware. Not in this one, but normally. Um, low voltage warning. There's usually a reverse polarity protection. The lens type is AR coated glass. Um, the reflector is smooth and or, as you can see on this one, it's an orange peel finish. Um, there's a memory mode. Uh, normally, most of them are 18650, but they also make an 18350 version. So if you want to go with a little bit of a smaller form factor, which I'll probably end up acquiring one of those two. Um, and apparently, you could probably just switch out the center tube from the 18650 to 18350. Don't quote me on that, though. I'm no electrical engineer. I'm just a flashlight nerd. Um, the height of this flashlight is 118 millimeters. The width is 24.1 millimeters. And the weight is 76 grams. Uh, beyond all of the options I listed and the specs that are there, uh, there's so much more and so much more room for customization with this flashlight uh, via all the parts and accessories that are available um, via their store uh, on AliExpress. I mean, you, I'm going to get rid of this silly little lanyard and <clears throat> throw it into a box with all the other silly little lanyards I've got and put a pocket clip on it because they make that available with little uh, screw nut and bolt uh, options right here and or a pocket clip that clips onto the outside ring of the, the flashlight its body itself. So uh, the options are relatively limitless. Um, and I feel like, again, I've just scratched the surface on what this flashlight form factor is capable of. I'm in form factor model, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but because of all the things I've mentioned above, all I could do is recommend this flashlight to you. I would recommend going on there and uh, depending on what you like, whether it's a high output emitter or a high CRI emitter, you could buy and build it exactly to your liking. And if you're good with a soldering iron, you could, I mean, you could build it. Um, this may actually become one of my number one flashlights, especially since it comes in that 18350 form factor. So uh, I'll probably end up getting another 18650 version too. They've got that stonewashed titanium that looks way too good to say no to. Um, that and all the accessories that are available to you, and including photoluminescent rings, which I always love in flashlights. Um, so on that note, please remember that there are affiliate links below that would help me in acquiring all these flashlights that I look to get to help review and show you. But either way, thanks. Thanks for watching, and carry on.